Hey everyone, it's Mr. Ardizzo479, and today I'm going to give you an MSI Afterburner review and show you what it is really. MSI Afterburner is a program by MSI. It's called Afterburner because basically what it does is it's a performance booster for MSI graphics cards, but it'll work with any graphics card. I have the GeForce GTX 550Ti by PNY, and you can change your core voltage and increase that very easily. Your power limiters, your core clocks. So I'm core clocked at 900 as the max, so not bad on that. Memory clock in megahertz, I'm at 20. 52 and then fan speed which fan speed really helps if you want to um, like keep your system cool and then over here it shows what you're running at like GPU temperature I'm at 37 degrees Celsius and then there's uh I hate all those notifications there's the GPU usage which is at 3% right now my max has been 99% and then there's fan speed which I keep at 71 and then there's the the fan RPMs which has maxed out at 3 to 10 before and I can max it out even higher if I wanted to but this is just what I had right now and you have all these different profiles right here you can use for different settings for different cards or whatever you want to use really. You can also have it apply overclocking at the system startup so as soon as the system starts up, boom. See so then you can go into settings here and we have the fan, the general, the monitoring, on screen displays, screen captures, so like uh, picture captures, and then what I use for all my videos, video capture. You can set the video capture key to any, just about any key. You can set it. I have it on 16 by 9 480p, but it'll go all the way to 16 by 10 by 1050. And the reason I have it 480p is because I can run WoW at a good base frame rate, and I have the frame rate set to 30 FPS. But I think I'm gonna jump that up all the way to 100 FPS. Well, now I'll just do 60. Bring that down. There we go. 60. Frame rate li limit is disabled for me. And then you can put it to where wherever you want. You can crop it, dimensions. And then down here you can use for the audio. So like there's no push to talk on mine because it automatically captures. I don't want to have to hold down a button. But that's basically it. Pretty simple. Easy to handle. Anyone can use it. And then... Uh, just I'll show you the actual video capture here in one second. Burner. This is my 86 Warrior Kilomer, a veteran of the Vanguard Knights. Thank you very much. I'm still getting up there, but so this is it. It should be running pretty smooth. It depends on the system, you know. I mean, other systems can run it pretty smooth. Some can't. So let's just... Let's just open up. And ride. Show you what it looks like. Now, of course, we're in storm wind right now. So it's going to be a little laggy with all the people. Get it in there. Pop a few strikes. Blade storm. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's it. This is MSI Afterburner. And it's a very simple system. You can just bind it to any key and it'll start recording. You'll notice in the top left corner that there's a small pink circle of dots, and that shows that you're recording. It hides pretty well. And 
so after that there's not much else left to say really I mean it's a very simple recording device you can use it on many different systems many different games to take it uh, and wow you have to use the 32-bit version just because of uh, some issues with patching and whatnot but other than that there's no real flaws with the system it's an easy to learn recording system after that um, it'll go straight into a folder called captured you can drop it into any editing software or just upload the captured footage straight up but this has been Mr. Ardizzle479 remember to rate comment subscribe and have a good day I'm gonna go play BGs Thank <music> you.